Finally, Bola Tinubu speaks on the crisis rocking the old progressive Congress and the PDP is speaking too. This time it is Obaseki and Wike. This is Plus Politics and I am Felicity Ezewike. You're welcome to the program. Now, the former factional acting national chairman of the All Progressive Congress, APC, Victor Guidem, has handed over to the new National Working Committee of the party and has urged his colleagues in the dissolved National Working Committee to learn from their mistakes. An elder statesman of the party and former governor of Lagos State, Senator Bola Tinubu, has accepted the decision of President Muhammad Buhari and has appealed to all former members of the National Working Committee and all members of the party to shield their swords and look at the larger picture. Joining us to discuss this is legal practitioner Libora Soshoma and Nelson Ekujumi, a public affairs analyst. They both join us via phone. Thank you, gentlemen, for joining us on the program. Thank you for having yeah, me. Thank you. My pleasure. All right, let's start with you. Um, Barrister Oshoma, there are speculations as to Gaidam's fate after the convergence of the caretaker committee. Let's start from there. Has that now been laid to rest with this handover? Yeah, uh, you know, for the APC, it's um, typical of the Nigerian political party and the ruling party syndrome in Nigeria. Once there, is, uh, there seems to be a common enemy, they unite, they, 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 they purportedly unite, fight that common enemy, and immediately that con common enemy is out, then um, there are problems. It can be described as uh, the crisis of uh, of people who set out to to loot, and then the moment they grab their hand on their loot, how how to share the loot becomes a problem. All right, and um, to that extent, I think that. There seems to be some distraction be um, with you there, um, Mr. Oshoma. Uh, let's bring um, Mr. Ekujuni in, and then we'll come back to you in a bit. Now, the APC Category Committee met for the first time today. Um, what is your overall impression of the makeup of the team and the task before them? Come again, please. Come again. I'm asking, I'm, 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 I'm bringing to your attention the fact that the APC caretaker committee met for the first time today. My question is, what is your overall impression of the makeup of the team and the task before them? Okay, well, uh, I think it's very really clear that the makeup of the committee is uh, comprised of a many of a reputation, many of the public go to the public and public sector, and those who are inside of the public institutions in the corporate level. But with that as we say, I think it's a welcome development that the committee has met for the first time. And one is very much interesting for the fact that because of their caliber, they are also uh, aware of the responsibilities that have been entrusted on their shoulders. And these are men in that field. One will expect that they will deliver on the mandate and support in them. All right, let's come back to uh, Mr. Oshoma. Um, we have to address that issue quickly. That's the uh, convergence of the new caretaker committee. Now, Bola Tinubu on Saturday officially reacted to the ongoing crisis in the party. Before we go on the, over the specifics of that statement, what is your overall impression of the statement? Was it necessary? If yes, was it timely? Yeah, um if there is no smoke without fire. Uh, so I, I wouldn't expect, even if there are crises, I wouldn't expect the president to come out to say that uh, the relationship between him and the national leader of the party have been strained. Uh, the same way Oshomole and Obaseki consistently maintained that there were no personal issues between them until, you know, their, their, their differences almost tore the party apart. The same way Amechi will come out to tell you that he does not have problem with um, uh, 
or shameless faction and all of that. So these are political statements. Whether there are, you know, crises or not, it is obvious that being a party that is not formed on the basis of a clear-cut ideology, and to have people holding on to personal ideologies and pursuing personal goals, they are definitely going to be clashes and crises. But all of these crises, in some cases, you know, will be subsumed when they have a, a common goal. Like they have an election coming up in a do and not do. So there will be seemingly uh, resolutions or, 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 or reconciliation of members. And as far as I can remember, every party should reconcile worrying members. And, and so, well, anytime there is an election around the corner, you hear them reconciling. And so it is not different from what they are basically doing. But how well they take that reconciliation further, knowing fully well that just a year after swearing in, they are already playing politics of 2023 that is three years away from now, even without delivering dividends of democracy. You know, so it just, the reconciliation will just be temporary because of the election they have in, uh, at hand. And I can tell you that, you know, it just I don't that 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 uh, you, you seem to be expressing a lot of uh, skepticism, uh, Mr. Oshoma. Let's, let's uh, get uh, Mr. Ekujuni's uh, reaction uh, to your comments first. Uh, do you agree with uh, his submission, Mr. Ekujuni? Please, what was the submission? Uh, his submission that there is no smoke without uh, fire on the well, situation between Tinubu and the president. Well, I wouldn't know where you are seeing smoke. And for me, when two elderly citizens, two statesmen come out publicly and say there is no risk between them, and people continue to insinuate, well, they, we should leave them with their thoughts. They have the freedom to insinuate, they have the freedom. It will protect whatever they feel like. It is, you know, within their prerogative to do that. But when the people, the persons involved, have come out to deny it, you know, I, I don't know what people want us than to, to uh, listen to that uh, speech. But so, it is not unexpected because, you know, we live in a time where, you know, uh, the doubt has become a scene of uh, daily living. Even within our homes, we don't see have that trust within ourselves. So it is not unexpected that even when somebody comes out and says, look, my name is Les Lekudwe, people will continue to doubt, even when your father or your mother and members of the family have come out publicly to attest that, no, this is our son, that is his name. So it is a natural occurrence in this time, and it is rather unfortunate. So if we need them to run, to run riots, to run wild with their thoughts. I'm curious, asked your reaction to comments that um, Ashiwa Ju's uh, statement was a form of a reassertion of his authority in the APC. Um, when you just oppose that with the statement that was given by the presidency, uh, some people tend to lean towards that part of the argument. What is your position on that? My position on that is that uh, Ashwadi Tinubu does not need any statement to assert his prominence in the party. His uh, membership and status in the party has been emphasized time and time again. And it has even been tested at the polls, and we have seen the results clearly. So for him to come out with his statement does not, you know, uh, re emphasize that, you know, he is a political giant who has tested the waters time and time again. Uh, but be that as it may, the statements that we have issued that, you know, is in line with the fact that one of the only means of, you know, of uh, uh, disabusing false narratives is for you to come out and, you know, give your own perspective. And the man has come out publicly. He said, look, there is no link between us. But people have to to hold on to that. And, you know, it is part of the political uh, maneuvering. It is part of the political gymnastics that we have come to, you know, to live with in this kind of where a lot of our people will really be due to argument. You know, tend right. to look into things that are not bearing with their, with their, with their daily living. And right, rather, let's... I will be more interested in the let me, let me quickly. Uh, standard of living of the Nigerian people.
Uh, Mr. Ekujini, let's, let's, uh, let's uh, give room to um, Mr. Oshoma to speak. But I, I want you to speak on um, a submission. I know you want to react to that. You can do that. But add on to that the elder statesman um, um, suggestion to, I'm talking about uh, Chief Ayo Adebanjo. Uh, he is also of the Afenifera. Uh, he has advised that Ashiwaju should leave the APC to avoid further embarrassment to his political uh, career. Is that the interpretation you would no. give to recent events of the party, at the party rather? No, 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 no. I, I, I am not um, one to support that view that once there is a disagreement among politicians that you should leave and go form another political party. How well you are able to resolve those crises also tells a lot about your 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 political tolerance of opposing views and uh, your uh, problem-solving ability in terms of uh, management of crisis. And then also, I, 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 I said that um, APC crisis, the least must not have been heard of them. These allegations are not unfounded okay. because it is obvious, it is visible to the blind and audible to the deaf that the people who are interested in the policies of 2023, even though they are yet to deliver... Uh, Mr. Oshawa, let me, let me interject and ask you to ask the person that's speaking beside you to um, stop, that his uh, comments is interfering. I'm alone. It's a mess in the Kujimi's thing that is interfering. It's on the road, and so it's, I'm oh. alone where I am. There's nobody seated close to me. All right, go ahead then. Uh, Mr. Okujini, please, could you um, uh, refrain from responding so we can actually hear him speak? Okay, thank you very much. So, All right. So, uh, my allegations are not unfounded. Despite not fulfilling the promises of 2015, and we have been moved to the next level of 2019, the gladiators in APC, it is clear that they are all interested in the politics of 2023 because they know that the president will not be contesting. And, and so you see some people from the north and some from the south-south arguing for the number one seat. That is what actually led to the crisis in APC. It has nothing to... Oshomole and Obaseki were just pawns in the hands of these people. It is the politics of 2023. And I have said that once the elections are over in a do and old do, they will dig in properly for the politics of 2023. But in, in, in well that statement that was that released by Ashiwaju, uh, Mr. Shoma, he, he said he doesn't know what people are talking about. 2023, that he hasn't even bettered the idea. I'm not talking about Ashiwaju now. Okay. Every politician, Gulo Jonathan, denied that he was interested in a rerun for 2015, even though it was very obvious. Every politician would deny that they are not interested in, you know, uh, elective office, that they want to concentrate on governance, even though the rest of us, all of us, you know, know the obvious. It's very difficult to us. They are all interested and they have two soldiers that are doing their people. But I do not subscribe to assure them leaving the APC because they have their disagreement. But whether there are disagreements, it is obvious that there are disagreements. Let's not shy away from all of those letters and all of those makeup that we see in public. All it right. is very obvious that the house of APC is not well. And so that's why for me, quickly, the the um, National Working Committee or the Interim Management Committee, whatever we want to call it, has a big tax at hand, which is to reconcile the warring parties and ensure that parties shed their sword. Even though they have threatened that anybody that goes to court will be dealt with severely, because there is no precedent of dealing with those that went to court before. I bet you people will still go to court in, in a few, few months or weeks from now. All right, let's go back to uh, Mr. Ikujimi. Um, 
Ashwaji rejected the predictions of the immediate demise of the APC. He says it's premature and uh, mostly mean-spirited. That's uh, the words of his statement. Many would argue, however, that a such postulation isn't mean-spirited at all, but was emboldened by the recent events. And Gadabur Sherwood did say in his own uh, statement about Buhari's intervention uh, that it, his intervention was to um, save the party from the brink of collapse. What do you say to that? Well, the statement speaks for itself. And we are all striving to the statement because it has become a public document. Ashaji has come up publicly to see that you know, he has to make sacrifice. And you and I know very well that any relationship, for that relationship to move forward, for that business, for that companionship to move forward, to be healthy, Parties involved must make sacrifices. Or else, you know, the relationship with family is because each and every one of us has it for our individual differences, our individual biases. But when you come together, when you agree to be a member of a party, you have to let go of some of your you know, biases. And so, if the president is done with the consultation with other stakeholders, and taking a decision, and they are all at home with it, I think it is good for the party. Because even as we speak, the, 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 the disagreement within the party is even healthy for the party. Because it will make people realize that this is a political party and not, you know, a, a, a band of uh, boys who have been gathered together by maybe an emperor. To tell you clearly that there's room for healthy debate, there's discussion, there's disagreement. But we expect that when political parties have their disagreement, we expect them to resolve it so that it does not go fail into uh, upsetting public peace and this and uh, causing public disquiet. So for me, the statement of Ashwadi that there are things with what Mr. President has done that they are, that you know they have to make sacrifices. I think that statement is well in contact with the uh, tenets of democracy. All right, uh, Mr. Oshama, what's your take on um, the senator, Senator Tunubu's advice to anyone interested in seeking re-election among the dissolved NEC members to do so? Yeah, it, it is um, the, the first and foremost, the decision by the NEC to dissolve its, uh, the National Working Committee was uh, an ad hoc arrangement, was abrupt. Um, and it was as if um, it wasn't properly thought through. And um, it's as if the APC didn't have a clear cut, you know, resolution mechanism to solve the problem that was at hand. And so the best thing to do was to say, you know what, let everybody go home. We can start to rebuild. And so against that backdrop, uh, Bola Medinobu had said, look, what it means is that your tenure was brought to an abrupt end. And as a way of recompensating, you can recontest. It's an advice, and it is left for anybody to campaign and also make himself acceptable to the party members who will, you know, elect during Congresses. It, for me, it's a welcome development. It's also consoling. So the National Working Committee members who had also toiled day and night to ensure that the party, you know, get the victory that they, that they recorded in the 2019 election. I feel like it doesn't look as if they had labored and then the labor is shortchanged and other members are appointed to take, you know, their stead. Uh, and uh, also not all of them were involved in the crisis. There All were right. some who were neither here nor there. And so it's an advice, you know, it's refreshing, you know, to, Let... to all of them. And it, uh, they should follow it through. And that's why I said quickly that the new management committee has a lot of work to do to actually calm them. For the fact that, you know, letters are flying left and right does not mean that you can actually calm Freynet. They right. are still on that belly of issues. Mr. Oshama, let, let's let's if that uh, is not done, then there will be a problem. Uh, let's give uh, Mr. Ekujimi uh, um, uh, a talk, uh, some talk time. Actually, um, Mr. Ekujimi, can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear. 
All right, uh, Mr. Tunubu admitted that many of the APC members have lost their balance because of their personal ambition, which they allowed to outweigh other considerations. How confident are you that this new caretaker committee will be able to address these concerns and bring warring uh, parties together? Well, I am optimistic, and I want to give them the benefit of that because I believe they recognize the enormity of the tax on their shoulders. Because as I speak, they are more so conscious of the fact that their political destiny rests on them having a stable seat, rests on them having a united that. Because we all know the consequences of how divided against itself. So one expects that this party, uh, this uh, character from the two members, you know, will live up to the expectation, will live up to you know, what has been so entrusted on their children, you know, to, to reconcile you know, the way forward for the national convention of the party, so that the party will be, will be formed one in the region. And we will be able to fulfill on its mandate, electoral mandate, to the Nigerian people. I, I want to believe, because I'm an optimist, I want to believe that these are men and women who will not allow their name to be swallowed by, you know, killing, you know, in, in performing the fact. <laughs> All right, um, you seem to have a reaction, Mr. Shema. Just in 30 seconds, if you can. Uh, no, um, in 30 seconds, quickly, politicians will always be politicians. Since all the ambition is about them and not anybody, I, I have consistently said that if care is not taken, that what happened to PDP might just happen to them. Because even the president at some point has said, that you are in a marriage of trained fellows with people that do not share ideology with you. Right. And so if they don't share their ambition at this stage, like Ashwaju has said, and focus on the direction that they have promised Nigeria, it will be difficult for them to even be together by 2023, not to talk of even winning an election in 2023. All right, Mr. Shama, thank you very much for your input on the program. My pleasure. Uh, Mr. Ekujimi, uh, your final thoughts in 30 seconds as well. Well, uh, I'm sure if you look at the time, you gave uh, Shama more than 30 seconds. But be that as it may, I think uh, I want to thank you for this opportunity and also call on members of the uh, Capital Committee of the Party to recognize the, the fact the, you know, on their shoulders. I recognize that you know, the party has a larger mandate to the Nigerian people. And you know, they are made, or whatever they do now, you know, go a long way in opening their name in the e books. All right, thank you very much for your time and your input as well. Thank you very much, Amy. All right, we will take a short break now. And when we return, what is Governor Basaki saying about his new party? That's our conversation after now.